Welcome back to Lockie and Lukey. Today we're going to be showing you how you can hand crank a Rover P480. One. First, what you're going to have to do when you're um, having to crank a car, you have to open up the the like drive where like the gas and stuff is. Was it? And then when you you have to come inside the car and and then when you're inside the car you're going to be tur turning the, putting the key in and then just checking the gear if it's in, in gear and like hand putting it down yeah so you make sure the handbrake is on you make sure it's out of gear because you don't want it going flying forwards when you start the car so no gear you can put the choke on if the engine's cold put the key to the on position now i do have some battery charge although the battery is pretty flat so it probably wouldn't be enough to start the car at the moment there's enough charge to get to the dash sort of illuminated you leave it like that then we come around to the front And this is where the hand crank is. Now, this goes in here. I'm going to actually just put some gloves on because I don't want rusty metal hitting into me. So let me just grab my gloves. And this actually engages the front of the engine just behind. So if you look in here, you'll see where the pole engages down there. So there's the pole. And it actually goes into these grooves inside the front of the engine there. Focus on that. So now it's in and engaged. And when I turn, it actually turns the the, the front of the engine around so now look you just stand back i'm going to turn this but just give me a bit of space in case it blinks mm -hmm. so you don't get hurt now i always make sure i don't hold it like this because when it kicks back you could actually break your thumb put the thumb on the out, outer edge and it's very difficult Starting yet, so I might just prime the fuel. And also, my car needs a good tuning. The carburetor is probably not tuned right now. So it's going to be pretty hard for me to start. I'm just going to let a little bit more fuel in, changing the fuel mixture slightly. Okay, we're going to try again. Now, you can technically use your foot. If you want to worry about your thumb breaking. be the tuning could be any multitude of things going on here it's not wanting to spark it's pretty dead at the moment for some strange reason I'm guessing it's down to the carburetor itself might turn the choke off completely I think it's it's not very happy at the moment let me just try that again with the choke off
it's not starting very easily this time, I'm not sure why. I think it could be to do with the carburetor tuning itself. It smells a bit funny. And also I have this spring missing. This spring here should be holding this in the backwards position and it's missing. So I might try and wedge that in there somehow because that shouldn't, shouldn't be moving back. the missing spring and that's why we're having trouble starting it. This had come off completely and it's meant to keep this back so that the choke will actually engage constantly. So that little spring there was missing so that the choke wasn't being kept back so it kept going forwards and then it kept honking out. So now the choke actually can do its choking job keeping that up tight whereas it had come loose and I couldn't keep that on and that caused the issue procedure again now that we actually have the spring that keeps the choke oscillating in conjunction with the choke cord. Like and subscribe everyone if you want to see more videos about this car.